Hey guys, Noble here, and it is technically Saturday, I need to go to bed, uh, but before I do that, I wanted to do one more video game review for the video game section of the YouTube channel. Tonight, we will be reviewing one of my all-time favorite uh, arcade games. It is a game that I'm lucky enough to have downloaded when it was available for download. It is uh, one of my all-time favorite TV shows, especially from 1990 through 1999, and that is The Simpsons, the arcade game for the uh, Konami arcade engine, but uh, we're going to be playing this on the PlayStation 3, which is the console that I downloaded this on. So without further ado, let's get down to some uh, Japanese beat-em-up uh, fun with uh, America's most iconic uh, animated family. Uh, fantastic stuff. Let's get down to it. All right. So, as we can see here, we are playing the Simpsons arcade game, and we're playing it on the uh, PlayStation here. I did not mean to pick Marge. I don't know why that happened, but we'll work with Marge here. We are playing this game on uh, RGB SCART and our JVC Professional Video Monitor. This game was made during Season 1 of The Simpsons. Um, so, lots of Season 1 references here, like the belly dancer that uh, likes Homer. Um, some things that uh, are used for the purposes of this video game, like making uh, Moe's bar gigantic, are not necessarily the same as they are on the TV show, but uh, you never know. Moe's uh, Mo's bar always uh, seems to change, right? Especially when they have a strip mall and he sells it as faux dive, but it's actually just a dive. So Marge here has a vacuum cleaner that she can uh, wield and uh, use to attack people. Konami had some amazing beat-em-ups in the early 90s, like uh, X-Men, Ninja Turtles, and uh, The Simpsons. Now, for the purposes of this, you can either play the Japanese ROM or the American ROM for this arcade game. And quite frankly, I uh, don't know the difference. They play pretty much the identical. I think with the Japanese version, you might see some extra characters in the closing credits. And I think it may be slightly easier, too. Um... It's not unusual for Japanese games to be a little easier than their American counterparts, especially when you're talking console versions of things. Because our rental business, uh, ooh, it's Sherry. Or is it Terry? I don't know. Homer's bowling ball here. It's the guy from Punch Out that uh, Homer was obsessed with beating Bart at in the first season of the show. So again, like really fun things like that. Like if you watch the first season of The Simpsons, this is just, very much reminds me of like Marvel vs. Capcom where the Japanese uh, developers really understood things that stood out about the show, but really like did their own things with them in their own Japanese style where everything was very kind of uh, spectacular and uh, fighting oriented. We can knock this guy out here. So we beat the first level. That's fun. Smithers is extremely evil in this game. His character was not yet developed. Now we're going to basically make balloons here. And I think we got it. Oh. Man, Krusty beat me. That's some nonsense. So again, since The Simpsons was early, Matt Greening had uh, other cartoons he was known for, so they are referenced in this game here. What's that? Was that Dancing Pete when Krusty became Rory B. Bellows and there was a little clown that looked just like him? Anyway, that's what that looks like. Hey, it's Santa's little helper. Santos ill helper. Help me, Santos. 
If that is your real name, Bart Simpson. Let's see if Marvin Monroe can give me some donuts here. Nope, guess not. So apparently Mr. Burns' goons are trying to uh, stop me from stopping Smithers from giving him that stolen diamond. Alright, Millhouse with a Donkey Kong hammer. Hey, Millhouse, help me out. Alright. Thank you, Millpool. Man, these guys here, these teacups are kind of a pain in the neck here. Good thing about playing beat-em-ups on uh, home consoles like this is you can literally have an infinite amount of quarters. So it's just your, uh, your desire to finish the game and have fun with the game. There's not a lot of pressure here. You can just kind of sit back and relax. Which some people like, some people don't. I do. Marge is actually a really good character with um, her vacuum. It covers a lot of range here. Homer. Looking like a monk. Well, that monkey looks like Homer in the background, so uh, he's either a uh, below average human or a brilliant beast. Now, obviously, um, I'm only one person, so I'm just playing this game by myself. This game uh, can support up to four players. You can each be members of the Simpsons family. And uh, it is quite fun when playing it like that. But it's also just fun playing it uh, one player as well. That bear uh, is a reference to the episode where the Simpsons bought the RV. Ended up going camping and uh, Maggie ended up being taken care of by bears. Simpsons really hit its stride in 1992. And then from 92 through 99, it was spectacular all the time. 90 and 91 were still good seasons, but it just kept getting more and more and more funny. And then after that, it just started sliding downhill to the point now where I just can't even watch the show. I'll just... I'll watch it for two seconds, sigh, and then turn the, turn the channel. Thank you, Sherry. Oh no, it's a dancing Pete. This evil crusty balloon here. Get Sideshow Bob out here to help me out, or Sideshow Mel. Or Sideshow Cecil. Cecil? I think not. This looks like the work of crazy old Sideshow Bob. Bob's innocent, Chief. Innocent, eh? That sounds like the testimony of crazy old Lisa Simpson. Man, where's Nelson Muntz? Spring forth, burly protector, and save me! Hey, how do I get back in here? Ah! There we go. Alright. These mid-game graphics are really cool. Alright, Springfield's Discount Cemetery. Let's finish this uh, level here and then we'll wrap up the review. Got kind of a Michael Jackson vibe here. I really uh, miss these kinds of games. I'm really looking forward to the new Streets of Rage. Uh, hopefully they'll make a new Final Fight now that they're making a new Streets of Rage. I'm happy that the retro style of video games is becoming more popular. I would uh, love to get the uh, Soldier Boy game console with Soldier Games. I do not care that it is a Chinese bootleg console sold at uh, Amazon and dollar stores or whatever. I want that thing. I want a Chinese video game console with a uh, cheaply photoshopped, and I, I don't mean cheaply in a bad way. I shouldn't, he, cheap, cheap is not even the right word. Hastily photoshopped picture of Soldier Boy on a game console that emphasizes soldier games. I want that very badly. All right, here come the dancing zombies here. And I've got Bart's slingshot that's making short work of them. So, 
I want to play Street Fighter Zero Three on the Soldier Boy console. That's what I want to do. Like mad little pixel, he's having conniption fits about this thing. There's screen tearing! How dare you sue this man! It's like, none of these video game YouTubers, like RGT85 or whatever, it's like, you know, you know, you can be a gangster rapper, talk about like dealing drugs and killing people all you want, but God forbid you, you know, you do a Nintendo ROM without giving Nintendo royalties. That's where they draw the line. All right, down in the crypt here. This actually is a lot like uh, Rolento and Final Fights level right here. All right, Marge, the TV mom, whose hair is large. Step back, Mom. It's Bart's turn now. Eat my shorts. Don't have a cow. What was Lisa's? I'm Lisa Peppy, blonde and stunning. Uh, senior... What is it? Senior prom queen? Five years running or something like that? I don't even remember. Yeah, Simpsons, uh... Simpsons Variety Show. The Smile Time Variety Hour, or whatever it was called. And this... And the spin-off showcase spectacular. Which gave us Wiggum P.I., the most evil city ever in New Orleans with the cheatingest football team ever, the New Orleans Saints. Alright, burger. Alright. Uh-oh. Alright, come on, ex-chicken. I am Magneto, master of magnet. You cannot escape. You'll be the one escaping. They need to release Captain America and the Avengers on uh, one of these consoles here. Gigantic bar. All right. So I know that said that was going to be the last level, but let's actually uh, play this level here. Need to see Mo and his clientele. Is that lunch lady Doris in the ladies' room? <laughs> It looks like her though. Hey, there's Mo. There's Barney. I was probably talking to Ivana Tinkle on the phone. Or Amanda Hug and Kiss. the Simpsons, uh, some of the hair colors on the characters were not all finalized. So Mo used to have dark hair in the first season of the show, so you can definitely see that in the background. Barney also had blonde hair. Smithers in the first couple episodes was uh, looked like he was black, actually. But he had blue hair, so I don't know what the deal with that was. Can I get this slingshot here? Yeah. Come on. There you go. Alright, ble Bleeding Gums Murphy! Quite the jazz musician. <laughs> hey kids, it's Grandpa Murphy. But Dad, we have three grandpas already. Oh, oh. You see, the kids, they listen to the rap music, which gives them the brain damage with their hippin' and the hoppin' and the bippin' and the boppin', which won't let them know what the jazz is all about. You see, the jazz is a lot like a jello pudding pop. No, wait. Jazz is like Kodak film. No! Jazz is like the new Coke! It'll be around forever. Heh heh heh. Alright, now they got that out of my system. 
fight this boss here. This weird zombie guy sleeping behind the bar. <laughs> this game is amazing. I'm gonna end up being up all night playing this. It's a weekend though. No, I, I need to go to bed. Really got was he drinking a flaming homer here? Is there cough syrup back there? Alright, come on, Marge. Here comes the shack attack. Man. Aim this vacuum cleaner properly here. There we go. All right, Marge, good going. All right, so I think we've got a. Uh, oh, there's Smithers here. <laughs> All right, so I think we've got a uh, pretty good feel for what The Simpsons is like. A fantastic game that uh, if you were lucky enough to download this when it was available on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, uh, you can uh, enjoy it in perpetuity. Now your best bet is to try to get it through a MAME emulator, which is a little bit trickier, but um, nevertheless, it's something that you really should look into getting. It's absolutely the best Simpsons video game ever made. It's one of my favorite fighting beat-em-up games ever as well. And if you're a fan of The Simpsons, and if you're a fan of Japanese video games, and if you are a fan of beat-em-ups, this is a must-own. Until next time, guys, my name's Noel. You take care, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.